Hello everybody, the One Red Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of My Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we w went back to the El Elden Volcano and we took on the Silent Realm there, which I kind of failed once, and I accidentally like stopped recording in the, in the middle of uh, doing it, so I, I didn't actually show getting a few of the tears, but I actually did it, and... I was surprised because I thought it was going to be like the hardest style of realm for me to do, but it wasn't too hard. And we also got went over to the water dragon to get our basin to pour some like water over this like wall of fire in order to get to the next dungeon. And uh, the robots is going. We're going to need the robot to go back to the other volcano. And I'm just telling you that this part might be focused on doing one thing because this next thing coming up is really difficult and I never liked what's coming up yeah. well let's just see how I do but it does seem like every time I think I'm gonna do do really bad on something in this game I ended up doing better than I thought. Well, of course, the pumpkin mini game was the complete opposite of that. But some other things that I thought were going to be really hard ended up not being very hard. So I'm hoping that's the case with this one. Right? Let's go. So this is the entrance to the volcano. I better get there before Master Sword Pants. What's going on? I almost blew out a ro rotor trying, trying to slow myself during that descent. Anyway, this is where you wanted the water, right? What? The summit? Why didn't you say so from the start? I don't, I don't want to carry this thing back to the sky. It's heavy. <laughs> this place is swarming with monsters. I bust up enemies like a junkyard wrecker. Too bad I've got my mitts full, full with the space in. Hey, Master Sharpants, since we came all this way, let's play a little game called Protect the Robot. Here's how it works. I'll follow you up the volcano, and you you make sure nothing touches me. Got it? Good. Your job is simple. You make sure none of these monsters lay a claw on me. Not one claw. Yep. That is what we have to do, and I'm definitely saving here. And I need to bring out my... arrows. Because I need to take out this guy. And I think... take out him. And... I'm gonna see if... I'm gonna see if we need to go to the left first. We have to make sure he's always close by. Yep, thankfully this gives off free arrows. Because they will be coming real handy. Grab this, the ornamental skull. Grab this heart too. Oh crap, let's get farther back. Okay. Anybody else? Oh yes, there is. Go 
Let's go. Okay, so I think the w one reason why this was so hard for me when I've always done this is that I didn't really use my arrows very much, so I'm definitely going to be using my arrows a lot during this. And I'm just going to take out anybody I see. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I'm taking this guy out. I think he's dead though. I could have gone a lot better. Nobody at the top. I don't think so. Alright. Um I know there's gonna be some of those jelly blob guys. Now there's enemies all the way up there. You know, I'm taking him out, uh... I'm taking him out when I get closer up. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Uh. <laughs> Did not see these two guys. That that really scared me. Take you, take you out. One singular arrow. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. Oh man, I could have gotten that arrow. Oh, I thought that was the guy that's the enemy there. Okay. This is a shortcut. So I think we can save and if we fail, we start here. Alright, so... We have to go this way. I'm really running out of arrows right now. Okay, and I guess I have to take care of this guy again, too. Okay, hang on one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to take care of something real quick. Or not. Okay, everything is good, I think, so we can just continue on. Oh, 
crap! I just burned my butt again. Okay, thank you. Finally, it's done. Oof. Got a red ruby from that. Nice. Anything else? I want to take. Some, that's what that wants to take me on. I know that you do. Oh, great! Another one. There's someone else? Oh, yes, there is. Okay. Okay, yeah, I... He was really close to actually hurting him. Wait. Oh no, of course that red ruby dropped. I really want more arrows. And health. Eh, that's not worth it. Okay. We're getting really close now. Grab this monster claw. And I am going to save here. Okay, so I know we do need to take those two guys out. Oh great, not now, got a lizard tail. Okay, that- oh, really close. I need to take these two guys out. Okay. Anybody here? I think we leave out this way. Oh no, we don't. Of course we have to take out the big... There's gonna be a giant jelly blob guy here. Or not. I guess he like disappeared for this quest. Are you serious? That really, really, literally wasn't that hard at all. I just had to use my arrows more often. That's like, that was like, I remember it being this being a lot harder than it, than it wasn't like when I showed this recording. Is last time it was a lot harder for me because I never really used my arrows. But anyways, here we are. 
You want me to pour the water on this? No problem. Did you see that, Mistress, Mistress Fee? If there's anything else I can do to be of assistance, then just call me anytime. The flames blocking your path have been fully extinguished. I recommend proceeding ahead. Let's see what you have to say. Oh. You are something else, bud. There is nothing you, you cannot do. You go ahead on in. You have earned the right to blaze this trail. Trial, I think. But anyways, we are going to save yet again before we continue the next dungeon. And let's go! Fire Sanctuary. Yep. This dungeon is a doozy. I don't know why I'm saving again because I did in the last part, but I, I forgot there was going to be a save point here. And... Maybe we need our whip? Oh, that's right. I think we need our beetle. To cut the vine. Now I'll make like a platform appear over the lava so we can jump across. And oh, it's fairy. Um. Should have grabbed that and put it in the bottle. At least I got some more arrows. Okay, so we're gonna need to do the old beetle thing again. Oh wait, no. Actually, go to the other side here. Um Maybe do we use our beetle? Because we don't have a key yet for that door over there. You need to jump on the platform and let's ride all the way. Come on, hang on one second. I'm sorry, something keeps falling and I keep trying to bring it back, like put it back up on, on my laptop because it's all, the, the Wii Motion like sensor, the sensor bar is like on a weird place like on top of my laptop and. On my, I mean my computer, and that's the only good place I can put it for my remote, for my Wii remote to work. Got another golden skull. Alright, let's take you out. And killing all the enemies will open that gate so we can get this chest. And we got a small key! Alright. Um, right, let's just see what I can get over there. Which I don't need anymore. Oh ho ho ha! The exit at last! Whoa! Don't scare me like that! I thought you were one of those monster creeps! Oh hey, what's this? You got yourself a swanky pair of digging mitts, don't you? 
What are, who are you anyways? What you doing there? Uh, on a quest. Hmm, I get you. Huh? Me? Oh yeah, the name's Gold. I'm the big boss of the Magmas. Those digging mates that you got right there are... I invented them. Haha. <laughs> -ha. No, no offense, pal, but don't, you don't look like the kind of guy that I'd send in here on a treasure hunting mission. What do, what, what I do, what do I know? You, you might just surprise me. Here, so here's the d deal. Word in the tunnels is that there's a huge treasure hidden in these here ruins. But nobody who's ever seen it has come back to tell the tale. Countless treasure hunters have disappeared in here. Poof, gone. As, as a treasure digger, I gotta warn you just, to just turn around and enjoy the many peaceful years of digging left to you, but... You're gonna do this no matter what I say, aren't you? Pretty much. All right, then I'm gonna let you in on, a, on an ancient, ancient treasure hunting legend passed down among the generations of magmas. <laughs> Every magma worth a handful of dirt knows this one. Here we go. You who seek the entrance to this king's treasure, look for the two statues that face one another. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Do this, and the path will open for you. You remember that all, and you're golden. Thanks. Some of my guys are searching around here for tr the treasure. If you get lost, holler at one of them. Alright, I guess. Now let's open up this door. <laughs> now we're in the art outside part of this dungeon. And all the way there, over there, is the boss door. Let's save again real quick. Let's continue on down through here. These are new type of venom pieces. They kind of like have pose poison stuff on them. Alright, let's go through this door. Alright, there's a small chest here, which I'm guessing is gonna be rupees. Yep, a red rupee. Go down this way. Okay, um, drop down here and stay on this rock because, like, that, like, a hand will shove and we can, like, get up here. Oh, of course, I didn't jump high enough. Come on, lava hand. There we go. Got two blue rubies. Ooh, that almost hit me. Okay, um... Let's just drop down. Yeah, that's nothing there. I'm gonna save again. I'm just always gonna save when I get to a uh, save point. Oh boy. This is gonna be a doozy. It's basically a lot hurt, harder version of the guys that we've always fought. Oh, 
Come on! Alright, finally taking down. And for that we get another lizard tail. No health. Alright, let's just go through the door. Okay. Um This is like a shot to take him out. I guess you don't need your like beetle, you can just simply use your claw shot. Oh great. Ugh! Yeah, those guys like those enemies like with the purple stuff poison you. Yeah, I'm just gonna take him out with my arrow. I thought that like the lava was gonna like start like moving us, but I guess not. Um, there's those two rupees that I want. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. This there's this uh. Right here, we need to use our beetle and grab the rupees along the way, as well as this bomb. We need to take it over here and blow up this uh, dragon head thing here. Now I'll actually make the lava move now. We had to do that first. Okay. I guess we have to go through this door first. That stuff looks hot. I wouldn't mind a little hot bath for my so sore shoulders, but this is too much. What's what we got here? Another new guard? Ha! Huh. You can't break me with that in with interrogation, son. You'll never make me talk. I'm not some sideshow for you to gawk at. Get lost. Shoo now! Okay, I guess. We just have to dodge these. Okay. Um, guess we need our claw shot. And open this chest. And we get a small key. Let's try using our gust pillows. Guess we're going through it. I guess we can't. What the heck? Um, why can't we?
There, there must be something I'm missing here. Yep, I'm gonna have to figure it out, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I did not realize that you could do this, but with the gust bellows, you can actually blow, like, get rid of the lava on the ground, so you can actually go through, so that's what I was missing, so my bad. Let's actually leave out here. Now we can finally go through this thing. So, we need to grab this and go all the way up to the top. Oh, there's a chest there real quick, but we need to throw this at the frog. Get rid of the flings. Let's see what's in this chest here. Let's open it. And we got a monster horn. Okay, not very special. Okay. Go through here, and looks like there's another save point. Oh, great. So I'm going to save real quick and I'm going to end off the episode, so... Guys, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video, and I will see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out!